Short answer, by applying the principles of buoyancy of watercrafts such as ships and boats on the air. Imagine, the atmosphere is a giant ocean and you are the skipper of a ship sailing this ocean. Your ship floats in the air like a ship would do in water. But your airship is more than that. A ship floats on water, airships floats in the air. It is much more like a submarine that can go both up and down, forwards and back, starboard and port. Your airship has full mobility within the segment of the atmosphere that has the same density as the airship. Below you see the surface of the earth with its mountains, plains, forests and seas. You have the full overview and you can pass leisurely above it all. Unlike airplanes, you have no needs for speed to stay afloat. You are a lighter than aircraft that sail the sky. This is the basic concept of an airship and all carrying balloons. They lift their cargo by making the total volume lighter than the same volume of air. This is done by employing a lifting gas in an enclosed space of the balloon. Depending on the lifting gas, the balloon is either fully sealed from the surroundings or open at the bottom. The last is the method of the hot air balloon. It simply uses the fact that hot air is lighter than cold air to gain lift. A heat source is placed beneath the opening in the balloon and the rising hot air gets trapped at the top of the balloon, pushing colder air out and thus gaining lift. This is the original concept used in the earliest airships in France in the late 18th century. What differentiates an airship from a simple hot air balloon is that the airship has greater steering through the air. The alternative to hot air are closed balloons containing hydrogen or helium, which are naturally lighter than air, but need to be much more contained to avoid the gas from leaking away. The advantage of hydrogen and helium is that both are much lighter than hot air and can thus lift more with a smaller volume. Both hydrogen and helium have serious drawbacks, however. Hydrogen is highly flammable, as was shown by the Hindenburg disaster that ended the age of the huge Zeppelin passenger airships. And helium is rare and very costly. This did not mean that heavy development of large airships was hampered in the age before the dominance of planes. In the age of lighter than air flight, much development was made. What really made a difference for the airship was the development of engine power. Before engines and propellers for propulsion, airships suffered the same drawbacks as sailships, just at a much higher degree. An airship does not have a hull in the water to counteract the wind, so it is completely at the mercy of the wind currents. Much improvement was achieved through the improvement of the balloon shape, however, which led to the well-known cigar shape of airships. This gave some ability along with rudders to navigate the wind and air. Without engine power, the shape and rudder is used to direct the airship. What can give motion without engines is a much more simple concept, however. As the airship is lifted through buoyancy, reducing the lift means that it will fall due to gravity, and this fall can be steered with the shape and rudders. This is still how hot air balloons navigate and how all airships gain propulsion against the wind before engines. This is also how gliders and sailplanes move and steer. The great advantage of balloons and airships in this case is that they can regain height through buoyancy. It also shows how airships could perform before engine power. The engine, however, adds greatly to maneuverability as it also does for ships 
and it meant that airships could develop much further. But the engine also made possible the airplane, thus giving the airship the opponent that would overtake it in the air. The airplane simply has a large number of advantages over the airship. One is size. Planes can be much smaller than airships while still having the same carrying capacity. An airship needs to be huge to generate significant lift due to the low weight density of air. It is only about a thousand of water. Planes use speed to generate lift through the air, so they do not suffer the same drawback. Another is speed. An airship has a large surface and moves slowly compared to planes. And speed is of the essence, when there is a limit to the weight that can be carried. Third is easier landing. A plane is sensitive during landing, but airships are far more due to the large size and low speed. They are very sensitive to wind during landing. These are just some examples to show why planes won out over airships. One advantage that airships do have is low fuel costs and that smaller airships can be made with much simpler technology and without engines. This is evident in lighter than air flight preceding airplanes by at least a century. Indeed, lighter than air flying objects proceed even further due to the simplicity in materials. For hot air flight, all that is needed is a source of heat and balloon material, then flight can be achieved. Recently I read a short story on that subject where an archaeologist finds evidence of an ancient culture in the Arctic hunting from hot air balloons made from the whales that they hunted and using whale oil and fat as the heat source. It is an interesting read. The short story is the whale culture of Greenland the Voyages of Vito de la Vera. If you are interested, you can find links in the description below. Much is said about planes having won out over airships, and it is true that planes dominate the sky today, but the airships and hot air balloons still hold a significant place in the sky. It is merely a question of a technology being applied where it is best suited and airships are still excellent for tourism, reconnaissance and surveillance. The Germans back in the days used them for custom controlled crafts and for coastal surveillance, giving rise to a famous incident where a German custom zeppelin boarded a Norwegian bark. This just goes to show that there are many niches where the advantages of the airship outweighs the problems and there is still a place for them in the sky. Who hasn't seen an airship with an ad on it? It was only the great passenger zeppelins that died with the Hindenburg. Even the lowly hot air balloon is still numerous in the sky, best represented with the beautiful images of colorful balloons in the sky over Cappadocia.